again as you can see another week another restoration this week uh, but let's do the old um, rubbish talk first <laughs> a lot of you um, like to see all crap that comes out of my mouth so let's get on with it uh, well first of all like I always do I always give a quick mention to a few of the um, nice comments and that what I've had um, following following people uh, crap old Nick thanks again for your comments Nick David Reinjens, I think that's how you pronounce it, Reinjen, Reinjen, Mitchell Paulina, Paul B, Stephen Parsons, Ryan Butler, Mark, or in other words, 1968 Concord, Martin Dare, um, Brian Fletcher, Adrian Smith, and Brian Stuvers. Um, oh, Ian B, and 4D Man. Um, well, this week, it's as you see from the title, it's um, it's going to be the um, Corgi 448 police van, and um, I've, I've done one of these before, and I thought I'd do something different with this one. I thought I'd, I'll just um, I have seen the other one, the 450, and it's just a normal sort of van, really, like you know, with the bars in the back and all that. And I thought, well, yeah, I can. I thought I can't print white transfers for it because you've got to have the white transfers on the um, side, same police. And I can't print white on my printer, see, so I thought I'll change it into the um, 450. So that's what we've done this week, so we'll get on with that in a minute. Um, anyway, a few um, messages here. Oh, the um, lunar buggy, yeah. Um, I had um, this one here sent by Jeff Ford, and it only had the one little astronaut. And I did, did say in the last yap, I said, Oh, if anybody got a spare astronaut, they don't want. Well, it happens. Jeff, who sent me the um, or lunar rover, not buggy, when he, he sent it to me in the first place, he did have a spare astronaut lying around. So, thanks for that, Jeff. So I can get on with that one. That one's going to be coming soon in the video. This looks a pretty easy one to do, really, because it's only you only got a couple of screws in in the bottom there, that, and um, looks pretty simple, straightforward to do that one. So we'll get on with that one in a, in a future video. Thanks again, Jeff, for sending that one in, that astronaut. Uh, Ricky Lee, fantastic rebuild. Also spot on with the camera angle and your presentation skills. Keep going from strength to strength, Bob. Don't know about <laughs> presentation skills, I suppose, the way I filmed it, I suppose, yeah. The old red shot seems to be a bit better. It's, it's this thing here, that. It's just what it is. It's all this was. I've adapted it on the end, and it's all it was is one of the um, microphone... Um, you can buy a microphone for, um, you know, to, you clamp it down and you can move it where you want. And I've adapted it and put it on the old roof now. And it, it's just right for that camera. I've tightened all the things up and it's, you can get good overhead shots with it. And then the, the old one, I use, like I said, I use that for the light. But yeah, anyway, enjoyed this video immensely. Very much looking forward to the next one. Thanks very much, Ricky. Uh, Jeff Baker, Bob, I really like both. Captain Scarlet SPV and the Lunar Bug. Sorry I missed commenting on the SPV vehicle when you were doing the build on it. I don't know what happened to that comment, um, Jeff. It's strange. I mean, YouTube don't have to mess around a lot. I don't know why they piddle around so much. They don't want to sort that bloody stupid computer out there. It's like, it's a computer that does it. I think it takes words. It looks at certain words, and if there's words, certain words in it, they, they put it on withheld or some bloody thing. Um, doing the futuristic space vehicles is very interesting and different. Well, I like it when you change it up a bit. Both restorations had lots of details and detailing work, as well as the cover colourful uh, paint jobs. I really like seeing the internal workings of Corby models. Some are simple and ingenious on how they do they're done. They are actually. I mean, the other day with them Golden Jacks, I've, I've done a, a Golden Jacks. Um, I've got one coming up, the um, Ilman, Ilman Hunter, I've got that coming up soon. I, I was looking at the actual Golden Jacks part of that and whoever designed that, how did they think it in their head, how it's going to work, you know, I mean, it's really amazing. Um, you did a fantastic, fantastic job on restoring them both and I always enjoy restorations. Your audio and video has greatly improved a lot, making a big difference in the presentation of your vids, my friend. You and your missus take care. See you on the next build. Thanks a lot, Jeff. P. 
Peter Parker, great restoration. Bob, sorry that I annoyed you <laughs> by asking where you get the spares from. I was only joking, I was only having a kidding you like, you know, having a laugh with you. I didn't mean it. <laughs> um, from in the Spectrum video, video he put left a comment on the Spectrum um, Pursuit Vehicle um, video. And um, where do you get parts and stuff like that? Cause, and I said, oh, I'm fed up with people asking me for parts. It's in the description down here, like, you know, and I, I guess a bit fed up with that. I was like, you a bit of family, mate. Don't take it to art. <laughs> anyway, I found out all about the spa space bug on the Collectors Club of Great Britain, um, co-op UK. Link in the description above. Lots of laughs. <laughs> Look forward to that, Captain Scarlet MSV. Yeah, I am getting round to doing that one actually. That's going to be started as I'm doing this video this week. This um, yap, I'm starting to do that one there. But there is a couple more videos before that. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, Pete, don't take it too hard. I'm only having a bit of fun with you. Brian Artillery, hello, Bob. Good to hear you telling people not to be afraid to open up the Corgi models and the Dinkies. The only time I had wished for free hands, though, was when I opened up an early 1990s diecast joke 90 car, 1991, this is to see how the wheels retracted so nicely. <laughs> oh, I bet you regretted that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. It was just, in. I was just interested in the mechanics of it. <laughs> That's a bit like me, I open things up to see how they work. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the Dinky one is great, but the Vivid, it's a Vivid make or something, I've never seen one. I'll have to look that up on Google. The Vivid one is better, but it will go ping, <laughs> and you need three hands to put it back together. Seriously right, <laughs> she'd have left it. <laughs> she'd have waited if something went wrong and then opened it up and not sort of piddling around with it. <laughs> I hope you got it back together alright. <laughs> they must have been assembled in a jig at the factory. I love the Cor Corgi Lunar Bug though. I still have my original one from the 70s. Played with an awful lot but still intact. Great toy. I also wanted to get another and paint it up as a UFO shadow. Yeah, I was, I was thinking on that. I have got another spare one here. Um, but I am got all the wheels for this one or the back door or anything, so um, perhaps with a couple of Airfix astronaut figures in the cab, yeah, it's a good idea. I know it's not from UFO, but it looks as if it could be. It stood for Shadow Moonmobile in my games. <laughs> You're quite right, it is called the original, a very good one though. Yeah, you, you could actually do that with that one, because it does look a bit, you know, sort of that shadow sort of style thing, doesn't it? could be one of them weird vehicles what you've never seen on the TV or well, they had and they maybe not showed it. I might do that with the other one actually, you've given me a, you've got my mind whirring now. <laughs> I might do that with the other one actually and put that on video. But I'm going to have to sort the wheels out on there because I ain't got all the wheels. Uh, Robert Sterling. Good morning Bob, good to see you, great job on the Lunar Bug, turned out like new. Nice Jeff and Ian sent you enough to make a good one. Yeah, it was, it was lucky, really. I mean, Ian sent me one, what, bloody ages ago now. Last year, before all this bloody old pandemic, or epidemic, I call it, not pandemic. Um, before all that started, like, you know. Um, and then Jeff sent me another one with, with the back door, and, you know, without the wheels, but the one that Ian sent me had the wheels. So I was lucky I had all the bits. So thanks again, Jeff and um, Ian, for, for doing that. Um, your new camera angle is working great, except when you bang your head. <laughs> yeah, I did, didn't I? I? I tell you what, I left, I didn't cut it out, because I thought, because when I watched it back myself, I nearly pissed myself when I saw this big furry ball coming up to the camera, and I banged my head. And I thought, well, I'll leave that in. <laughs> because it looked quite funny. I, I was actually in tears myself. I, I didn't realise what it looked like. <laughs> the blue mat is also, also working out good. Yeah, I turned these, the white lines over because it was giving me a bit of um, blurred vision looking at these stupid white lines all the time. You and, Mrs., you and the missus stay safe and well. Cheers, Robert. Thanks, Rob. Um, thanks for that. The Fokker 03. Unusual one, Bob. Call ye had, have it has produced from 70 to 72, so nearly 300,000. Yeah, I didn't realise it sold so many as that. According to the great 
book of Corgi, it supposedly holds a car inside. Yeah, well, I did read about this. Looks fine by me. Keep them coming, mate. All the best. Thanks, um, the fucker. I did actually look this up about the car, what you said, that goes inside, and apparently the, you didn't get a car with it. You could actually, um, I am got one here to show you. I ain't got it here to show you now. But they'd done it so that kids could sort of, I don't know, just put their like Corey Junior cars in there. They, they could put anything in there, like, you know. And it was just like an extra sort of um, thing you could use it to play with, like, you know. And, you know what kids it's like imagination, like, and you put a little car in there and they drive out, things like that. It was just another sort of part of the gimmick of the thing, like, you know. But it was mainly made as just to play on him like that. Well, they all were, I know, but well, I'm rambling. But <clears throat> that was the reason you didn't actually get a car with it. You, it was made so it would fit a Corgi Junior's car inside, so kids could use their imagination a bit more, that's all. But yeah, that's what that was all about. Um, Cocker Richie knows. John Davy. Hi Bob, well it may have been one of your easier restorations, but it looks better than new. And the camera and the blue mat and lighting have given so much clarity. Lovely jubbly, thanks Bob. <laughs> Thank you John. I'm glad you all like this new camera angle, because I'll tell you what, I've been going off my head, trying to get it right, you know. Because this camera here is a lot bigger than the iPhone, because I was using my little iPhone before, and I mean that was easy. Because you could like, well you could put it in front of you, I know I keep, you just keep knocking it, but this one, I thought, well, where the hell can I put it to get a really good, and the, the focus, I was getting trouble with the focus, because I was either too far away and it wouldn't sharpen up quick enough, or whatever, like, you know, I still get little problems now with the focus, but it isn't so bad. It does focus a lot quicker now, but I thought, well, yeah, well, if I put it overhead, like, I'd, somebody, somebody mentioned it in the last, the last um, video I did say, and um, it is a lot easier, because I've got the camera sort of there, and it's, and that's how I sort of bend down and forget it, so I bang my head like <laughs> it's a lot better, I think so anyway. PDM, nice work and a perfect result on a very weird looking toy. Yeah, it is a weird looking toy. And um, my Sims reality again, don't choke on your beans, yes. I'm talking about you. Um, <laughs> you turned out this lunar bug, you turned this lunar bug into a stylish one. So superb. Rest of Bob, job Bob. Also, I have to say, my husband and I were watching this as we were having our supper. <laughs> and when we heard you mention our channel name, we were thrilled so much that we cheered, we cheered over our beans and rice. So don't choke on them, I'm mentioning it again. I know, just calm down. Thanks so much for that and for this video. It made our day. I laughed when you said that about your beans. Um, Keep on doing what you're doing and can't wait for your next one. Till then, God bless you and Mrs. Bob. Well, thanks very much, My Sims Reality. I'll say it again. Um, well, that's about it. That's a yap for this week. And um, I'm trying, I, I've done a few um, videos. Like I'm trying to catch up on my videos. I've done a few, but I'm trying to sort of cut them down. And um, well, I don't think they're too bad. They, they don't look too bad, but Anyway, before we go, finally, I don't know if you lot have seen this um, video, I just put a small clip out, but I don't know if you've actually, uh, you know, like everybody's watched it, but I had this sent to me. Andy Cooper sent me this one, and it's real, proper slate, and it's all polished. I tell you what, it's a really good job. I don't know how he's got that on there. It looks like it's, I don't know, it looks like it's bloody, like lasered away I don't know but it's, it's a proper really polished nice piece of slate it's got the old things on the bottom like you know you put your drink on it or whatever but he asked me to give it a mention I'd done that little clip last week I think I put it up and it's only like 30 seconds worth just showing it and giving his um, email address but if you want anything done like that you can either have something like this a set, set of four I don't know how much he charges but he can do whatever design you want on there, you can put anything on there, like you know, you can put, I don't know, a picture of your face, I suppose, if you send them the picture, I don't know. But if you get in contact with him at his email address, I think it's what is it, Andy? Oh, it's on the back, <laughs> what, what an idiot! It's Andy Cooper, and the, and the email address is red, red sectora2007 at hotmail.co.uk. So, um, get hold of him 
and you can um, either have like a set of them and um, it'll give you a price I suppose and whatever it's going to cost and I don't think he charges for postage I think that's all thrown in but they're nice little um, things I thought it was I thought it was brilliant when I had it so um, anyway that's that's the app um, not much more to say really but let's get on and um, watch this um, Corgi 448 police minivan and see what I did to this and I'll tell you what I had a bit of a bit of a to do with this one the amount of things that went wrong well it was supposed to be an easy restoration but I had quite a few things that did cock up on me and it, it, it changed out different at the end than what I meant it to, to be it was well it was still the van but I did change my mind quite a few times through it to get it right in the end because I wasn't happy with it and things was going wrong and I thought well I've had enough of this and you know I was going to throw it in the bin I nearly threw it in the field at one point because I got so pissed off with it but anyway um, we'll see you or oh, I'll see you next time so um, look after yourselves folks and um, till then bye bye I'll see you again right then everyone this is what we got today it's the um, Corgi number 448 and it's the police minivan well I'm not going to restore it back to the police minivan as you see by the title of the um, video I am got the, the figure and I am got the dog so and I am got the decals so what I'm going to do as you see in the title there's not a lot needs doing to it, it just needs a respray I'm going to convert it to the uh, ordinary van you know a corgi minivan number 450 and i'm going to customize it slightly as well so it only needs a set of tires a respray that's about it and the back door sorting out and everything but that's it so um without further ado let's get on with it right then guys i've already filmed this bit once i'm going to do it all over again now the bloody camera wasn't going was it and I was there talking away to myself thinking well <laughs> what a waste of time that was <laughs> so anyway we'll do it we'll do a take two this is what I was doing before this is deja vu we've got an omen here well as you know from the title I'm going to convert this one to um, well just a normal sort of um, minivan really like a normal builders van um, I've already as you see I've already cut cut the window out at the back of this one because I did show that when I was filming it just now but it wasn't bloody recording was it? I didn't have the button pressed so that's what I intend to do this door here was originally it's, a, it's only a repro one but it, it was a, a the right hand side door but all I did is um, oh, won't open now look all I did was um, cut off Cut off the little handle, as you see on that door, there's a little handle. I'll get the bloody thing to open there, it's opened. As you see on there, look, there's a little... There's a little handle on there. And um, all I did, I filed that off of this door, because it was on sort of that side, the inside now. And I've slightly bent this door to match the curve on this door, so it looks, so it looks like a, you know... So it'll go on to the, other, the opposite side, if you know what I mean. And it seems to work all right, so I can get away with that. I'm quite happy how that's going to look when it's all painted up. I'll get the old light shined on a bit. This bloody light. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do, like I said, is just make this into a normal. I don't know what number it is. It's a 400 number, and it's just a, your basic minivan. It was a police van. This one, 448 but we're going to get this one changed into the basic minivan and to take this apart it's quite easy it's just one rivet there which I've already took out comes out like that look. then you take your seating piece out that comes out when that's in that will load your little pins at the back for your for your room doors so now they'll they'll just come out nicely like that so we'll um, get them out I've got to clean these up now I've got to try and cut the other one out glass just pulls out like that quite simple and there's your little aerial and this aerial here I think they use the Batmobile aerials for this one it looks very similar to a Batmobile aerial if you can see it I'll get, get it to 
focus there that's very similar to the Batmobile area but anyway that's enough talking crap um, I've got to drill that out got to get that post drilled out and I'm going to have to put the old drill in the back of these lights to get these out so we can push something through to push they out because they haven't got not like the old 258 the Saint car they have got that broke away actually so you can push the lights out so we're going to have to make them come out ourselves you've seen me do that before <clears throat> so first of all I've got to fold these down I'll get all that done and I should get these all primed up same with that one and then they'll be ready to um, go back in then I've got to um, obviously get the paint off before I can prime that one but anyway that's all there is to this is not going to be a a really long video it's going to be a pretty quick one really because this is quite an easy one to do really there's not much involved with it um, this is the one I'm this is what I will be doing in the future is this one Martin Dare's already done one of these but I've managed to get hold of this one on eBay these wheels are not the proper wheels for it my mate sent them out open they'd fit but trouble is when the tyres go on them they won't they're too far out they're poking too far out so I have ordered a new set so I'm hoping they're going to come for when we do the video for this one but this, that's one for the future but you know at the moment this everything's very slow postage wise I've had this open because I've done a repair on the glass inside because that spotlight was down on the ground if you know what I mean it was it was broke inside so I have done a little repair on which I will show you when I do the video but that's one for the future but anyway let's concentrate on this for now next bit this has got to be stripped that's got to be stripped and um, I've got to strip that one and I've got to fold these down so I should bring it back once I've done all that and we can um, take a look at it and then st start getting round to um, respraying it because like I said it's going to be a short video this one sorry about that but sometimes it goes like that you know if you've got a nice easy one it doesn't take very long I'm hoping there's not going to be any snags mind you but there you go things can happen okay guys as you can see it's come out pretty good it's all been shined up now all, all the paint's gone it didn't take a lot of cool stick to get rid of this actually it was, it was the old jam jar octog jar whatever yeah the octog jar it was I used for this one because it come off pretty easy done the old base plate as well that's all been cleaned up so this is all ready for spraying now doors as you can see I can't even pick a bloody things up I can't get my finger on them right the doors I've actually cleaned them both out now I've had to them together like that once they're painted up you can see a bit of focus for me they're all nicely um, ready to go back in once they've been sprayed up so it'd be like your ordinary um, run-of-the-mill builder's van or whatever a mechanics van I don't know I'll see if I can find some decos to go on it I've got a few decos in my pot and I'll see if I can put something on the side of it then again I might not put anything on there I don't know yet I haven't decided but as I said, the colour I'm going to do it, I'll show you now if I can find it anywhere here. It's here somewhere. And the paint I'm using, I'll come back out because I'm using this stuff and it's plastic coat, but it's, a, it's the same colour what I used for the bottom of the um, shadow, what I did, shadow two. And it's quite a nice duck egg colour and it looks like a vintage colour to me but the trouble with this stuff it's um it's a water based paint so I'm going to have to really sort of once I've sprayed this in the doors I'm going to have to really let because I want the shine I'm going to have to let it really dry for like a good couple of days before I actually try to lacquer it because otherwise it's going to react with the lacquer you know so I'm going to have to let this really harden up so what I should do I'll get this sprayed with this I'm going straight on, I'm not doing any undercoats or anything like that, I don't need it. And um, I'm going to um, take it indoors then, take, take the doors indoors, and I'm going to let it dry with the, um, you know, 
because it's warmer indoors I mean in the shed it's not that great so I'm just going to do that and spray it up and, and then take them indoors to let them dry off properly and leave them in there for a couple of days and then I'll come back out lacquer it and then I'll bring back and show you the re results of that and then we can start putting it back together and put, maybe putting some decals on it so I haven't decided what sort of van it's going to be for yet so I'll get on and do that now Okay then, let's give this a, a nice even coat of the old duck egg. I'm hoping this ain't going to be, oh bloody hell, the, the old forceps come undone then. Get laid back a minute, I don't want to drop it. <laughs> I'm hoping, it's, as I was saying, it's not going to be too sort of light really. This here duck egg stuff is, is water based, so I'm not too happy using it. It's not very nice to use on models. It's what I use for the um, the base of the um, Shadow 2 actually, because it's the only colour I could find. So I'm hoping it's going to work alright. I mean, once I let it dry long enough, I can um, put some lacquer on it. And it's not too bad. Do the doors in a minute. Give it a quick whiz over. Yeah, I'm gonna have to gonna have to lacquer it because it does come out a matte finish. But I'll just hope I gets away with the lacquer because, as you know, using these sort of paints, they you know the lacquer the lacquer doesn't usually agree with them. It makes it flake up and everything if you don't leave it long enough to dry. It, it worked alright on the bottom of the shadow too, so it should be alright. I've already done the base plate, so that should do it, I think. It's not looking too bad. Right, everyone. <clears throat> you might notice <laughs> the colour is a bit different. Well, I did, I painted it that duck egg stuff, as you know. I'm going to put these transfers on now. I've just found some transfers. They're not meant to be on there but I just thought I'd you know spruce it up a bit it is a bit of a custom mat after all anyway as I was saying I put that duck egg colour on there and um it kind of um didn't look very good actually I ended up I ended up having to strip it again and doing it again because I put the lacquer over the top I let it dry for a day as well and it started flaking up and I thought oh here we go so I ended up stripping it all off and I sprayed it again with the old duck egg stuff. And, um, well, it looked a bit too light, if you know what I mean. And I, I remember I had this um, this one here lying around. And I thought, well, I want it green. I want it like a light green. So I've gone over it again now with this and it looks a bit, a bit better. So um, what I'm going to do is going to put a few transfers on here now. Because this is going to be the maintenance man, or the van, man and his van, <laughs> for the old um, <clears throat> Massey Ferguson tractor. Because these decals, I found these in my box, and um, these here says Massey and something else on there. Massey Harris or something, I don't know. And I just thought, why not? <laughs> just put something on there just to break the green up a bit you know if they bloody come off I'm hoping that'd be all right hopefully they'll be all right keep keep dipping them in my water that's my decal fix it's free out free out of the tap Right, here we go. I'll stick one side on here and then the other side, I don't know where to put it on the door. Or up there. Yeah, up there. Can't even already see it, but it'll do. Massey Harris. I um, get the excess off of there. 
there. It's not very bright, but I better chuck that in there because that's going to take ages to bloody come off else. If you look there, you can just about, if it focuses for me, if you just about see it there, look. Massey Harris, there you go. So that's going to be the maintenance maintenance um, crew for the tractor, what I did the other week, because it's a Massey Ferguson. So I'll just get the other side done, and I'll get the headlights in, and um, we'll be on our way to put this back together. As I told you, it'd be a quick video. I've done the base base plate. Look, I'm trying a nice set of chunky tires for it. These is not new ones. This ones I had lying around, so they look nice and chunky because it is it is a van after all. So yeah, like I said, it's not a very long video. This one. Sorry about that, but that's the way it goes sometimes, folks. I'll try and get a bit more of an epic one sorted out for you next time. Okay, folks, right. So we're now at the assembly point. Now, a bit has happened. There's been another change of plan. <laughs> I put them decals on and I lacquered over them the day after and they started flaking on the side and I thought, oh no, not again. So I rubbed it down and rubbed them, tried to rub them out as much as I could to respray over the thing again. I managed to do it and I resprayed over it all again just to smooth it out again and lacquered it. And now I've actually changed the decals again now because they weren't showing up very good, the other ones. So now it is now a KOG spark plug van. <laughs> so it's the um it's a maintenance man still for the tractor, but it's got spe uh, spark plugs in it now. Because <laughs> the tractor might need some new spark plugs. <laughs> so we're now finally able to put this thing together <laughs> right let's start now all this stuff here like headlights i've um i've actually um put a bit of silver around the actual you know the surround if you know what i mean i haven't painted none of this in yet i'm gonna do all that when it's all put back together and you'll see that when it's on the turntable all the detailing i'm gonna do off camera because i mean you know what that entails just a bit of paint paint the lights in what have you paint the silver in on the front I'll use the old um, Molotow chrome pen for that and the bumpers I've got to do the bumpers on there that's all got to be Molotowed and um, I think there's a bit well, it's a, it's, yeah it's on the actual thing on here bit of bumper to do on there but we've got the base plate we've got everything we need so we're going to put this thing back together finally I've had enough of this one to tell you the truth it's um, been a very trying this was supposed to be an easy restoration but well it wasn't <laughs> everything it, everything that could have gone wrong did on this one so just slot the area in like that you should hold yourself there actually if you're pushing in far enough if I push it in far enough there because the old ribs on the area will load that in just straighten them up slightly There's our aerial, that's in. Just push it right down, it, the ribs will catch on the old thing anyway. And then, all it is then, you stick your old glass in. All I've done with this glass, all I've done was put it in some soapy water and cleaned it. And it's, it doesn't need any treatment or anything. It doesn't need no, um, what shall we call it? Um, pledge treatment or anything like that. Now the doors, they go in like that. They go in the little holes in the back there and just drop them back there like that. Just hang, let them hang. I even had a bit of a cock up with one of these doors. I think it was this one. And um, I took the little um, grabber off of there and it chipped a bit of the paint. So I had to rub the bloody door down and do all that again as well. That's another thing that went wrong. Yes, it's not been a very nice restoration, this one. I was hoping it would be a nice easy one to do, you know. And you just let that hang there. And this is the bit. Just, just drop that in like that. And see them pins? they get caught by them little gaps there once you drop that in and then you just put your slot your base plate in in that back tab let it drop down let it drop down he says well it's, it's playing up again that just now it went in 
there there it is click it in like that and then we've got it all put back together finally so um, all I've got to do now is put a rivet in this now the doors won't shut typical that one shuts that one don't want to shut here we go oh dear I'm going to have to sort this out a minute folks and then I'll be straight back well <clears throat> I've um I think I've done it I think it's because it's, it's newly painted I mean it will shut that I pushed it a bit more and it will shut but once this paint properly shrinks back it should open and shut a lot easier but there you go it all shuts up now so that's all that was oh that was, that was the door you can just about see a little tiny mark here look. but I you know I've had quite enough of this one to tell you the truth so all I've got to do now is put the old headlights in I've got them a little bit of dab of super glue on each one paint all this up paint all the chrome up and then we'll um, take a look and see what she looks like finished off on the old turntable right then guys as you can see this is what we started with it's just an ordinary one of them um, a Corgi 448 the police minivan and I had a missing back door on it I had this one quite some time ago and there weren't no tires on it I did put a couple of tires on the back but I didn't end up using the but apart from that it was all there but I didn't have the policeman figure or the dog or anything like that go with it and I didn't have no decals I couldn't print the decals because they're white um, decals and I can't print white so I thought I'll do a conversion and I'll convert it to the um, 450 but as a semi custom because I did put some different decals on it at the end bit of a fuss with this one in the end but as you can see it didn't turn out too bad after we finished everything it's um, a different a different color than what I did spray it in the actual video <laughs> that was a bit of a joke wasn't it and um, the actual decals ended up different as well so there's been a few um, mess arrangements with this one but eventually well I think it's turned out alright in the end so um, as I always say if you um, if you enjoyed watching this video and you want to see another one I'm sorry it was a bit of a short one this time but it was a bit of a pig to do actually this one <laughs> it took longer than you think you you didn't see behind the scenes if you just saw behind the scenes you'd have realized how much has gone into this what you don't see well what you don't see what you don't know anyway if you enjoyed it please like subscribe and um, I'll see you again next time with another video. Till then, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.